So welcome to this brief overview of our new OCLC connector for Confluence. So let's jump right into Confluence. I've loaded a page here that I've just edited and put together for you. Um, basically, there are two ways to present referenced content. One is we can add OCLC links, and these links work like you would just expect it if you know uh, platforms like Doors Next or uh, RQM. Um, you can rich hover, and this will retrieve the delegated UI of that item. You can click on that link that will uh, allow you to follow um, that trace into the original authoring tool and onto the requirement 564. So this is 564 here. And um, of course, we have the same for RQM. So you can reference test cases or work items by RTC. Uh, all these things work. You can just reference content and present it as a link. Um, but, but maybe you want to present that content right away. So you want when, when the page gets loaded, you want it to be rendered right away. And then you can um, use the second way to present content and use an OCC content container, like I've done here. Again, here we have Doors Next Generation, but of course that's interesting, especially for diagrams. So I have Innovator here, I have Magic Draw, I have Enterprise Architect, I have Rhapsody, I have MATLAB Simulink. So all these uh, modeling tools we know. And um, the interesting thing is that we can even uh, use functionality. These um, containers here, they reference uh, SmartFacts content, and SmartFacts has a very rich functionality to consume uh, model-based content and especially diagrams. So we can zoom in and out, we can um, change the version, we can expand uh, our floating container here and um, start to examine the details. Um, we can um, add a comment, for instance. So um, let's uh, say, my comment 2300, that's the, the time right now. And I send that comment. And um, when I jump into the original authoring tool into Innovator, I can um, go on to comments. And here's my comment 2300. And when I uh, say my reply 2301, um, then I send a reply, and that reply, of course, is available immediately in my Confluence page in my diagram. So that's really interesting. And if we go down here, for instance, I have a, um, a magic draw diagram in obviously more than one version. Here is version 2, and of course, we also have version 1. I can change between those two versions. And it might be interesting to understand what has actually changed between version one and two. And here, SmartFacts has this functionality. I select the older version and um, I get all the details what has actually changed. So two ports were added and uh, two blocks have been changed. And if I look here in, in detail, we get that colorized. So these two blocks have been changed because two ports were added. So interesting, we can um, use all that functionality. Yeah, how do we actually build uh, such a page? Yeah, let's just switch into the edit mode. So here we are in edit mode. So let's just add one more link. So we take one more innovator diagram and we just, um, use a tag and uh, add a macro. So that's, you know, that concept, of course, of um, uh, Confluence. And we can click on the macro. And first of all, we select the content. And uh, so this is now our picker. Uh, we have uh, uh, the possibility to configure various uh, sources of information. And this time, we're interested in an AM source or in an RM source. This time we're picking an AM source. Um, so we select the root service and um, we have to log into um, 
our model warehouse. We select a project. And now I'm here um, in the, the Smart Facts Picker. This is my personal favorites list. Here is my personal history. And I decide um, to, yeah, let's use one more innovator diagram here um, to use this context diagram and I just say add a link. And now um, there are some parameters I can add. So I can decide to add a link or one of these content containers. And when I say I want to add a large content container, then that will be the same size than all the other containers you've seen. And um, there's one more option, always use the latest version. So we can say we want to add a specific version or always the latest version. And um, if I uh, check that box, so always the latest version will be used. So whenever you publish a new version to SmartFacts, right away you will get uh, the updated diagram here on Confluence. And now we just update the page and it gets um, rendered nicely. And here is our context diagram, takes a while. And um, here we are, um, we've um, added that diagram. Okay, um, let's have a look um, at IBM Jazz again. Of course, Jazz is the uh, OSLC application uh, in the market. It was the first one. It is, uh, I think, by far the most uh, advanced uh, platform using OSLC. And there are some really interesting concepts like global configurations. And th this is also what you can use, of course, in Confluence. You can click on this item here that uh, uh, opens the global configuration picker. And here I can just uh, select a global configuration and uh, add that. And this global configuration will now filter my page. And so here we are. Um, you see there's a lot of content that's not visible anymore because the page will only show stuff that is uh, part of this global configuration. If I take that out again, of course, everything will be um, back in. Okay, thank you for watching this.